and there's the train. Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. You're going to probably hear that whistle a few more times as the train passes through town. My house is about a block away from the train tracks and once or twice a day, depending upon the day, the train goes through town. And of course, it's going to go through while I am filming. On this Memorial Day, I would like to say a, a hearty thank you to those of you who have served. Memorial Day is to re remember and to honor those who gave their lives in the service of, to this country. And my husband is from Waterloo, New York, which is the official birthplace of Memorial Day in the United States. And I will have, by the time you see this, I'm actually filming this on Friday. It will be air on Monday. Tonight, all day Saturday and all day Sunday, I will be over in Waterloo at the Celebrate Commemorate Festival, the Celebrate part of it. Waterloo starts tonight. We celebrate the coming of summer. That We celebrate the fact that we're all here and that these men and women gave their lives for our freedom. And then on the 30th, there is the commemoration part. And on the 30th, there will be a very solemn parade. There won't be any candy being thrown. That happens on Saturday. There's a festive parade. But on, on, uh, the, on the actual day, on the 30th, it is a solemn parade with veterans. Wreaths are laid. Uh, services are done in all of the cemeteries in Waterloo and in all of the churches. And so on this celebration part of the day. Let's get moving. I have some papers that I have collected and if I can find the link to where I got these digitals I will put it in the comments below. But what I'm going to do, these are eight and a half by eleven and I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to do a couple of small journals. I have these papers, I have some stickers, flags of course, and some hearts and stars. And then, oh my glory, look at all of these wonderful stamps. If you don't know, there is, if you have a philatelist society near you, and I have moved my mat, sorry about that. But if you have a philatelist society near you, then you want to definitely go take a look at what they have to offer. A lot of them will offer free stamps. This is eight and a half, so I want it four and a quarter. I'm doing two sheets at a time. Uh, do I want it four and a quarter? Is that going to be big enough? My thought was to do kind of a journal, like, you know, a flip up journal. I think that'll be fine. So let's cut these as well. I have uh, several sheets that I have done. These are hearts or stars hearts. I'm going to four and a quarter. I'm doing two sheets at a time because I'm just cutting them in half. Uh, those I did on cardstock. These I did on regular paper and I, they came out. My computer or my printer does this weird thing. It prints really no matter how I put it and what I do to the settings if I print on computer paper, it does not print as dark. So we'll just go, ah, sorry about that, go with these. Um, hang on, I want to get a couple sheets of plain computer paper. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I went and got two sheets of regular computer paper, and I have broken those up as well. So I'm, right now I'm going to make two piles. I'm making two identical journals. Just getting the paper sorted here. There. Okay, we're going to set that one aside and we will we'll make one on camera and then I'll make one separate. So I need to decide which one is my cover. And I think for this one I'm going to do the stars, the red stars. Let me grab a card here to make that down a little bit more. All right, I'm going to take a minute and fold all of these and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I have all of my papers folded. I only put, took one of the white. I may take a second one when I get started here, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to put this signature together. And I'm going to do it... Actually, I think what I would like is one of the thinner papers in between one of the thicker papers. And this is... The, the blue and the red is just simply plain cardstock. It is not fancy at all. And I wanna, yeah, I think we'll do that. So now when you flip through it this way, it looks like this. Okay. Now for these, I think I'm just going to staple them. This is Hang on, grabbing my stapler, my long stapler. This was one of the best investments I made. This was, I got this, I think, from Staples. They, it was not expensive. Okay, my, I don't cut very well, I guess. I'm a little bit off here. So before I staple, I'm going to take uh, my crab knife, which I'm getting out from the drawer behind me. One of the advantages I've discovered of having a very small uh, room is that everything's real close at hand. Okay, so let me real quick do this to these so they don't move while I'm trying to cut. Hang on, one more thing. I have recently gotten a much larger... This again is from the Dollar Tree, and I do like it a great deal. All right, let me just cut this down a little bit. I want my, uh, I don't want the points out, so I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to put in two staples, and I'm going to take them in, and I'm sorry you can't really see this. There's no way to get the camera down here to show me lining it up, but I'm just lining it up. And this is worth taking your time. If you're doing this, take your time doing this so that you get your staples right on your corner. All right, we'll take that off of there. You may ask why I'm not actually uh, using my craft knife on this. It has nothing to do with uh, trying to keep this nice or anything because it's getting pretty scratched up and whatnot as it is. But it used to be a self-healing mat. It is not a self-healing mat anymore. It is. It's got all sorts of dents and scratches and whatnot. All right, so there's my journal. It's put together. Now let's do some decorating. Um, let's start with the inside. I'm not going to put pockets and things like that in here, and I want to leave a lot of spaces for writing. Now there's not a lot of writing on that particular, not a lot of space on that one, so that's where I'm going to take my extra white and put it down there Okay, I know that that's four and a half wide, so I'm going to cut this to four inches wide. Will that give me enough? I think I want to take just a little bit more off. That's, I'm going to go down, take another, I don't know, 16? No, that's closer to a quarter of an inch, I suppose. All right, we're going to put that down here. And for that, I'm going to use a glue stick and my glue book. Thankfully, everything is close by today. Let me get rid of that page. And yes, I am still using the same glue book, but as you can see, it is getting very, very thin. I do have another one, but I've really kind of grown attached to this one, this poor thing. This catalog owes me nothing. Lining that up. Smooth that out. So now we have a nice writing surface. But let's go ahead and take one of these stamps and put that stamp up there. Do I want to... Hang on, I'm going to distress it, but I need to get my inks out. Okay, I'm using Archival Ink Faded Jeans, and I have kind of uh, cheated with these little ones. I went and bought a whole pack of these and then 
I uh, just keep them right underneath. I'm just going to very, very lightly at the edge of this, and I'm not taking it off the paper. I like kind of like the fact that it's on the paper and has that ragged edge. But uh, yeah, you can get stamps at any of your flat, philatelical, oh my, a philatelist is the one that is somebody that collects stamps. And there are societies of these stamp collectors all over the country, probably all over the world. In fact, I would imagine they're all over the world. Um, this one says nonprofit organization on it. So it was something special for that. And we'll just leave it just like that. And I think I've got all these stamps. Let's go ahead and decorate it with all of these stamps. And I cut that and I got this one a little bit off. So we'll just take that little bit off. Okay, do I want to put another piece of white here? Sure, why not? Why not? Do I know what I'm doing? Not even a little bit. Okay, so we're going here. <coughs> Sorry. There. Somebody is out mowing a lawn. I can hear the lawnmower. So if you can too, sorry about that. I love this room. You know, I, its size is small and that sometimes gets to me. But to be honest with you, I, I really like the light in here. And this light is, um, oh, register to vote, five cents. Let's put you up there. What did I just do with my, here it is. It has two windows in it, one there and one beside me. And I really like the light that it gives. However, because they are just plain window glass, if I have the windows open, which I do not at the moment, uh, boy, you hear everything in the neighborhood. If there are kids in the park, you're going to hear the kids in the park. If the train's going by, you're going to hear the train. If somebody's mowing a lawn or a car goes by, that's really... There. I don't think we need to do anything on here, so let's just give it a forever stamp up in the corner. So I started talking about the Philatelic Society I'm probably saying that wrong, and I apologize if I am. But all you have to do is, you know, just talk to them. And they have bags of, of, of things that you can generally pick up for free. They're, they're trying to get people to be interested in doing stuff with them. And so, you know, I went and cut that, and it did not cut well. So let me just really kind of take that edge off there. Well, this is homemade, right? This is what you get when you do homemade. This is the USS Constitution. And I'm just putting a little bit of color along the outside, not a lot. I think I'm going to put you up here. Do I want you down here? I don't know. Hang on. I'm going to think, you know what? Maybe we'll do this instead. These are really good stickers, so we'll just stick a flag over here instead. There we go. I've got another sheet of white. So far so good on my glue page. So what do you do for Memorial Day? Are you a big picnic person? Do you do lots of picnics and have family over? That's what my mom always used to do. We always used to have family. When, once I got married and moved away, they would always have a big picnic on Memorial Day and open up the pool for the first time. There we go. Now that looks really nice there. And so this would be the unofficial opening of summer, and we would get all get together and have hot dogs and hamburgers and 
just in general enjoy the day okay that's the middle I'm gonna leave that for a minute because I don't know what I want to do with that yet I have an idea but we're not there I'm not doing anything up on here um, I have some stars here that I think I'm going to use to imitate the stars that are there if I can get them off these are really old stickers I just threw out a whole sheet of birthday stickers I was trying to do it had some cool squiggles on it and I wanted the squiggles could not get them off for anything so I ended up because it was just a really old uh, sheet Okay, so we have, let's see if we can get a red one off. And so I'm adding glue to these because although they're, I'm trying very hard not to get the paper off as well, but they're really, there we go. This is a very, very old sheet. This is the problem with stickers. If you have them, use them. Same thing with washi. Use it up, because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it, literally. It will no longer, it will either stick to the paper like this is, or it just won't, it'll, like with the washi, it'll stick to itself and then it'll rip. So if you have materials, don't save them, use them. Always use your materials. There, I'll just put those little three up there. And I am getting to the end of my glue stick, which is pretty obvious because I'm starting to lose glue behind, leave glue behind. It's always my clue. Okay, coming back out, I think we can leave that. What other stickers do I have? Oh, those are the same as the others. I thought I had a different sticker. Oh, well, maybe not. We'll just have another. We have another. I went to go through the my flag stamps, and I was or my patriotic stamps. And I was absolutely amazed by how many different flags I had. So many different sh uh, shapes and sizes and color not colors but um, arrangements on the page of all these different. Yeah, I'm definitely at the end of my glue stick. Okay. Let's put this one in the middle. So on this Memorial Day, I'm going to use another flag sticker over here. Only let's put it on this side. I'm putting them up to the top more because this way it gives you lots of writing space. Okay, I'm going to have to get another sheet for that one. And what else do I have here? Um, I have the VFW one, but I think I want to... There's a Liberty Bell. Oh, here we go. There's some fireworks. Let's do the fireworks. So our plans for Memorial Day are to be in Waterloo the birthplace of Memorial Day, and we are going to uh, be at the craft fair. I'm selling my journals and my novels, and my daughter is selling her dice. Although she has gotten a job recently, she's working, she's stage managing the, or assistant stage managing the color purple for Jiva up in Rochester, and so she can't be here for the festival so her my husband <clears throat> her dad is taken over and he's going to do the festival for her I have a bunch of these but I think I want to save those I might put those on the cover all right one more stamp here and yes I will be selling this at my booth I don't know what do you think $10? Is that too much? All right. So I have the DFW one, and I have a 
this one, which would be kind of cool to put along here. I maybe I'm thinking maybe a collage of stamps here. I got the Liberty Bell. What else do I have? Oh, we got Uncle Sam over here. We could do a collage of these stamps. What else do I have? Just have another plain one. Hey, we'll do that. Let's just do that. All right. So this is just one way of using up some of your stuff. But mostly I'm doing this for Color Monday and for Memorial Day because the colors are good for Memorial Day. I know you're saying get out a new glue stick, but you if you have if you're a longtime member of my channel, you know that I am nothing if not frugal. I am going to use up every inch of that glue stick. Okay, let me take a minute and just do all of these. It will only take a second. You can fast forward if you don't want to watch me do this little distressing part. And again, I'm using Faded Jeans. This is archival ink. Um, I don't have it in any other form. I believe it comes as a distress ink and a distress oxide as well. I don't have those. I only have the archival. What's the difference between the inks? Oh, that's an entire video. If you are, if you need me to do a video on that, just let me know. But I'm pretty sure many of you probably have watched those videos. There's a, a bunch of them out there on the differences between the, the different inks. Okay, we're going to make the VFW kind of our main focus, especially since... Now, VFWs are more... Um, we have Veterans Day. We celebrate those who came back from war in November, on November 11th, which was Armistice Day. It was the end of first of World War I. And so we celebrate the fact that so many, that some of them came home. I have a cool story about World War I and my grandfather, but I'll tell it at a later time because we're just about done here. So there, there is my cover. And the only thing I have to do is something with the middle. And what are we gonna do with the middle? We have this really big one. Well, I think, <clears throat> sorry, my, Voice is kind of going on me a little bit today. I need a little more ink on here. And this was a, I'm not, I don't remember exactly where I got this particular set of stamps. Might have been off of a package that somebody sent, but the Somebody wants to make sure you can't use the stamps again because they were all over them. But that's okay. There we go. Put that right down there. All right, so there's my stamp booklet. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and feel free to share these videos. I have not been saying that, but you know, you can share these videos with various groups. If there's a group that you belong to, you want, or uh, just you want to share it to your Facebook feed and let other people know that uh, these videos are around, please feel free to share them. In the meantime, hit the bell if you want a notification for when the next video was coming out. And on this wonderful, beautiful Memorial Day, commemorate, celebrate, and this is Cindy signing off.